the round end of the haptic. First, a 30 gauge needle is used along the haptic to infuse viscoelastic under the capsule rim. Viscoelastic is then infused around the optic through several paracentesis to free the lens further from the capsule bag. This lens has been in situ for over seven years and is being removed for positive and negative dysphotopsia complaints. The capsule rim is very fibrotic, so it is going to be first trimmed with micro scissors. Making several nicks along the capsule rim and then gently tearing or slicing these fibrotic bands will help you elevate the lens through the capsule bag with less trauma to the capsule. This lens is then gently elevated above the capsule rim once you've removed all these fibrotic bands. The Zonial Saver device, which is rounded and polished and curved to approximate the capsule bag equator, is inserted to allow for counter traction against the equator of the capsule bag. As the haptic is pried free, the counter traction device prevents excessive prying on the zonules and thus disinsertion of the zonules. The other haptic is then pried free in turn using the same device through a paracentesis. As you can see, the rounded end of the haptic is pulled gently from the capsule bag without excessive trauma. The lens is then hemisected and removed, and finally the new lens is injected into the capsule bag. Thank you.